Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our channel Deloitte NLA preparation series is going on. So previously also we had made videos regarding previous year coding questions and networking and cloud questions. So in this particular video, we will be discussing the latest quantitative and reasoning MCUs which were earlier asked in Deloitte company. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because we are continuously making such preparation videos because we know that from next week or next week onwards your exams will be starting so you have less time for preparation so we we are trying to cover each and every topic in the coming days whether it is aptitude whether it is cloud networking cyber security all these type of videos you will be seeing on this channel in the coming days so for getting the all the updates for these videos make sure guys to join this uh, to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel okay so you will get every update and guys if you want to see that what are the previous videos we have uploaded there is a Deloitte NLA 2025 preparation series playlist in which all the videos till now we have posted okay and in the future also we will continue to post videos in this playlist only so make sure that after watching this video you check out the videos of this playlist also so guys now let's start this video but one more important thing make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students all the companies uh, discussion are happening here make sure to join it okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting make sure to hit that like button okay so guys the first question is in how many ways can the word mangoes be arranged in which a and n are at the extreme positions so mangoes so it is seven letter word okay four five six seven letter so a and n are fixed here in the extreme position so a can be here n can be here or n can be here a can be here like this now rest of the words we can arrange in any order so how many empty spaces are there it is five so what are the total number of ways of arranging five letters in this position it will be five factorial that is coming out to be 120 but remember one thing five factorial is the number of ways keeping a here and n here but it is also also possible that n can come here and a can come here so therefore 120 into 2 because of this swapping is the correct answer that is 240 okay so 240 here is the correct answer so moving towards the next question next question is how many different seven digit number how many different it, it means how many unique seven digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1303535 now see you can see here we have been asked to make a unique digits unique numbers but here there are some repetitions so if i make a number like 1303535 so it is possible that next time i this 3 and this 3 is swapped because these are two different threes but the overall number will remain same so this is a duplicate number but we have to find out how many different numbers are there so now what we will do again total how many letters are there how many characters are there 1 2 3 4 5 7 okay so then there will be 7 factorial arrangements are possible divide by how many numbers are getting repeated so 3 is getting repeated 3 times so therefore 3 factorial and then uh, two, uh, there is 5 also getting repeated into 2 times okay so 2 factorial but one more catch is here see how many different 7 digit number so we have total 7 characters but see one of these characters is 0 so a 7 digit number cannot start with 0 okay cannot start with 0 so it is simply a 6 factorial okay so 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 so 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 so this 3 will get cancelled with this this 2 2 so 6 into 5 is 30 okay Th uh, 6 into 5 is 30 and 30 into 2 is 60 okay so 60 and into 6 into 6 why into 6 because 0 we have we cannot place at this position but at the rest of the positions we can place it so therefore into 6 we are doing so therefore the answer will be 360 because at first position we cannot place it place the 0 but in the rest of the positions we can place 0 okay so therefore into 6 we have done so 360 is the correct answer here okay i hope now this question is clear to you next is okay so guys the next question is a can do a piece of work in four days okay b can do it in 20 days with the help of c they can finish the work in two days in how many days can c alone do the work so if a can finish the whole work in four days 
what will be the a piece of work in one day that will be one by four similarly b piece of work in one day it will be one by 20 so what it is saying so in two days all the three can finish the work alone so we can do how much work a will do in two days so it will two by four how much work b will do in two days it will be two by 20 plus how much work c will do in two days so it will be two by c let's suppose c does a piece of work in x days okay in c days so two by c is the number of amount of work it will do in two days equivalent to the entire work now if you will solve this what you will be getting we will be getting 12 by 20 plus 2 by c equivalent to 1 so 2 by c is equivalent to 1 minus 3 by 5 so 2 by c is equivalent to 2 by 5 2 2 get cancelled c is equivalent to 5 so c can do the entire piece of work in 5 days okay i hope now it is clear to you now let's move towards the next question okay so guys on our top mid page of code bashers we have deloitte nla preparation material also so if you do not know from where you should prepare for your exam then this preparation material can be helpful for you if you will open this material you will find that it, there are total seven pdfs that you will be getting inside this preparation material all these pdfs are corresponding to different different sections that will be coming in your exam so the questions in these pdfs in these respective pdfs are from the previous year deloitte exams only so if you will open any of these pdfs let me just show you the sample let's suppose this apti pdf you open so you will see that we have proper question options answer and explanation for it okay similarly for the coding also we have question and code similarly for the cloud pdfs also we have question options and answers plus explanation also so if you do not know from where to prepare okay this material can be very much beneficial for you okay it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and a coupon code of 15 percent is also available on this channel the, all the description all the information regarding this you will find in the de description box as well as in the pinned comment and also if you want preparation material for different different companies also so we are providing a package also in which we are providing infosys cap gemini accenture tcs nqt deloitte nla preparation material in that package this package will be beneficial for you and 15 percent coupon code is applicable on this package also so all the relevant details i will put in the description box if you want to prepare for any of these companies do check them out okay so guys the next question is in a village the average age of n people is 39 years after verification it was found that one person was 50 year older than his age considered in the average the new average age after correction increased by one the value of n is so see what it was saying that earlier the average age of all people was 39 years <clears throat> but one because of one person 50 years got added into the total age of the villages and after that after that addition the entire the average increased by one so when is average increased by one okay when is average increased by one if if for every person the age is increased by one then the average will increase by one so it means that after adding 50 into the age the average increased by one so it means there must be 50 people in which uh, <coughs> for the calculation of average one would have been added into the every person's age so therefore if 50 uh, after adding 50 we are getting average as one so therefore the number of people will also be 50 only so some questions do not require you to solve it but a sim simple common sense will do it okay so i hope now this question is clear to you next is a train normally covers a certain distance at a speed of 100 if it halts for a fixed time interval in each hour its average speed reduces to 80 km per hour what is the average time interval for which the train halts in each hour so now there are two time intervals given so let's just first find out let, let's suppose let, we just suppose that let the distance be x okay let's the distance be x it will remain same for this also it will remain same for 80 also but now to actually solve this question let's just try to find a find a number which is divisible by both 100 and 80 so you can take let's you can assume that let's distance be 100 oh sorry it will be 400 because it is the smallest number which is divisible by 400 also and 80 also so now first let's calculate the time for the 100 km per hour so speed is equal to distance by time so time is equal to distance by speed so distance is 400 by speed is 100 so here the time comes 4 hours without any stoppage similarly if we will calculate which stoppage so 400 divided by 8 it will come out to be sorry 400 divided by 80 it will come out to be 5 
so see if if the train is not stopping it is reaching in 4 hours if the train is stopping it is reaching in 5 hours so what is the uh, amount uh, of halt every hour so what is the difference difference is 1 that is 60 minutes divide by 5 because total 5 hours we have taken so 12 minutes is the correct answer 12 minutes is the correct answer here i hope now this question is clear to you so if you are finding this video informative till here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and make sure to join the telegram group which is dedicated for 2025 batch students now next is the price of an item is increased by 40 percent by what percentage should the new price be decreased to bring it back to the original price so let's suppose the price of an item is 100 okay new price is 140 okay now by what percentage this price should decrease so that the price is again coming back to 100 so let's just do it one by one so 140 is the current price let's just do subtraction minus 10 percent so minus 10 percent of 140 will give it 126 let's again do uh, uh, like a subtraction of 10 percent so 140 minus 20 percent will give us 112 now again let's, let's do subtraction of 14 so it will give us 98 so see 98 is smaller than 100 it means if we give a discount of 30 percent on 140 then the time then the uh, price will become 98 but we want the price to become 100 so it will be little less than 30 it will be li little less than 30 so if you will uh, see the option carefully the answer is 28.57 because here also like we will not use any formulas but a simple mathematic approach can save your time okay 28.57 we are getting <clears throat> next question is the indian cricket team played 21 day matches in a season and won 25 percent of the matches they played if they wanted a minimum success rate of 75 percent what is the minimum number of matches they would have to play more <laughs> so see here till now uh, indian team has played 20 matches out of them they have won 25 percent that is four matches they have won oh sorry five matches they have won and lost 15 matches now how much more ma matches they should play so that their win percentage becomes 75 percent so let's assume that now any if they are playing matches they will win only so x matches they have to play more so that their win percentage can become 75 percent and loss percentage to become uh, remains 25 percent now we know that the, the other indian team is no more losing the matches so 15 percent so 25 percent of total matches we know 20 plus x more so let me write here 25 percent of total matches 20 plus x more is 15 so now let's just simply solve this equation so 20 plus x will give us this is 1 by 4 this is 60 x is equal to 40 so 40 more message, message, uh, matches they should play and they should win all so that their percentage uh, win percentage becomes 75 percent i hope now this is clear to you 40 is the correct answer here <clears throat> let's move towards the next question pointing to a photograph mira said he is the son of my grandfather's only son he is the son of my grandfather's only son let's just read it again he is the son of my grandfather's only son so grandfather's son's sons so what it is is how he made it to a boy sister simple he is the son of my grandfather's only son so grandfather's only son is his is mira's father and he is the uh, the person is the son of mira's father so mira is here and son is here so they are brother and sister so answer here is sister you will just have to read again so that you get the understanding of it now let's move towards the next question what comes as the next element in the series so this, these are roman numerals 2 6 10 14 18 22 you can see that 4 is moving okay 4 the difference is 4 so next will be 26 okay next will be 26 okay let's move towards the next question 
okay so guys i am again reminding you that on our channel we have deloitte nla preparation material okay uh, it contains all the sections previous year questions that will be coming in your exam okay so you can buy it individually also or you can buy it with a package also in which other companies are also included okay the links you will find in the description box okay and a 15 percent uh, discount coupon is also going on so do check them everything out the links are in the description box a person walked 25 meter towards north then took a left turn and walked 30 meter okay 30 meter the person again took a left turn and walked 25 meter 25 meter how far is, in which direction is that person so this is the person here started from here he is in the west direction 25 meter 30 meters sorry this 30 meters to the west first question first answer i hope now this question is clear to you <clears throat> next is six friends a b c d e f are sitting around the hexagonal table each at one corner and are facing the center of the hexagon <clears throat> a is the second to the left of f b is a neighbor of c c and d and e is second to the left of d so if you will solve this entire thing you will find out which one is sitting opposite to e some this type of diagram will be formed opposite of e is d <coughs> sorry opposite of e is b so answer correct answer is b here option d is correct so i hope this question is clear to you see you will have to for these type of questions you will have to make a diagram only without diagram these things will not work okay now let's move towards the next question find the missing term in the series 5 6 11 17 8 what is the difference 1 5 6 and then 11 what will be the next difference <clears throat> so you can see here this 6 is addition of these two this 11 is addition of these two so what will be the next difference it will be addition of 6 and 11 that is 17 so 28 plus 17 it is 45 so correct answer is 45 here i hope this question is also clear to you again if you have not hit that like and subscribe button till now please do it every like motivates me for making more such videos okay so if you're finding this video informative till here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students all the company hirings are, are disc uh, getting discussed here now let's continue in the video <clears throat> now choose the correct option shivam put his wall clock on a table in such a way that 9 am that at 9 am the hour and was pointing to south in which direction will the minute hour point at 9 30 so this is the clock he has put in such a way that our hand is pointing towards the south so this is the uh, situation so it is 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 okay so yeah next will be at 9 30 uh, in which position the minute hour will be minute hand will be pointing so at 9 30 this minute hand will be pointing here and what is this location since this is south so this will be west okay 13th answer is west i hope it's clear to you next is again the series find the next number in the series 8862 so 88 eight difference is 0 8 and 6 difference is 2 6 and 2 difference is 4 so 0 plus 2 plus 4 then next difference should be 6 that is minus 4 is the answer yeah so yeah these were all the questions that i needed to discuss in this video quantitative and uh, reasoning so we are trying to pick up the patterns for different different questions and try to solve it so if you want more such videos do write in the comment section that yes sir we want more such videos and if you have got any update on your deloitte exam that when it is when you will get in the slot mails do share in the comment section also and do share in the telegram group also that i have already shared the link with okay so this was it for this video and I, as i have discussed in the as i have discussed in the video that the preparation material for deloitte is already live on this channel of uh, topmate you can check them out okay so this this contain all the previous year questions which were asked in deloitte nla so it will be a good tool for your preparation so thank you for watching this video